Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so I actually haven't done, you know, one of these in a little while. Um, yeah, don't really have an excuse, so soz. Someone actually requested that I did one of these, like suggested it. Um, and it's pretty much about my fashion and in terms of like uni and my course. So I actually haven't talked about like the portfolio side and that's um, what a subscriber wanted me to talk about. So I'll do that right now. Um, as I don't know where my portfolio is as such and I don't really know if I'm meant to like sh can show it um, as it's work that I'm currently doing um, at uni so I don't think I can really show it on here but I can like just chat about it. And so when I sign signed up <laughs> applied uh, to uni um, I applied for like a few but I just wanted to be nearby as I've said in my previous video I'll link that down below as well if you want to check it out but it was pretty much um like quite hard in terms of I didn't know what to do for my portfolio because I was coming from a place of that I didn't really have a background in fashion um I did textiles in year 11 I literally can't remember I think it was year 11 so I hadn't done any like fashion course as such to have as a portfolio or to have as like a reference or backup or anything um, on my CV or anything. So I couldn't um, apply to uni saying that I've done fashion, if that makes sense. Um, so I was in a place of like, what do I put on? Like, <laughs> ask my sister, cause she went through the process first. So I wanted to ask her like, what shall I do like <laughs> I love fashion and like I'm really interested in it but like if you don't have a background like how was I meant to like apply to unis saying that I want to do fashion so I basically asked for her opinion and she said to do one of these boards so they're like this is like a piece of my work like behind I'll do a sneak peek but yeah, so I don't think I can show it because it's like still uni work and stuff. But this, um, basically like this size, like an A3 or if you want to do like a few of them, maybe like A4 sizes. Her advice was put things on it that either inspire you or like your interests. So I was like, okay. And as at this point, I was getting ready for an interview um, at the University of Northampton, which is where I go now. Um, so I was like, what am I going to do for this interview? I don't have exactly a portfolio yet, like at the time. Um, so she said, yeah, do one of these like big A3 A4 things of stuff you like, your interests, hobbies, things so that they get to know you as a individual. I put on it basically my favourite movies, films, um, things I've done, you know, in terms of like uh, travel and stuff, a lot of people would put them like t tickets on, like a train ticket. Be a bit more um, <laughs> different than like just putting a train ticket on the thing, if you know what I mean. Like uh, do lots of different things, either stuff you've made, maybe put it on if you're going like more of a textile route. Um, yeah, just, just things that interest you. So I think movies I put were just like Clueless and then linked it to fashion. So like, I love the style. Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, classic film. And then I also put my vintage stuff on there because I was like kind of delving into that at that point. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of different things. I went into the room because um, that wasn't a requirement for you to do, like for the interview. It was basically come along and with either a portfolio or something um and they'll just like chat to you and then the interviewer will, like go from there um so i walked in with my a3 like and uh they i had like a really nice lady that interviewed me to be fair um and we sat down and basically just chatted about my Board that I brought in. It will probably vary in different fashion courses. You probably have requirements that you need um, if you apply to them. But for my one, it was pretty much like 
do whatever you want for this interview so I was like okay and she really liked it and liked the originality and the differences on it and just like a little bit of getting to know me so it worked that was my kind of like that would be my main advice just in terms of like if they don't say um any requirements so like obviously you need like grades and stuff like that but in terms of either experience or if you have none bring in one of these boards as i said it's literally like this size and uh yeah and they'll probably like it or you can do it that way or whatever and just put a load of stuff on it that represents you or again experiences like if you have been to i don't know the vna exhibition and looked at the dior uh, exhibition when it was on or chanel or you know um any places you've been or um stuff you've experienced i hadn't had much experience then i was emphasizing that in my interview so i was saying like um this is literally my first go at being interested in fashion work experience stuff i kind of had that but in terms of like working in retail or anything i hadn't done that um yet so i couldn't say that if that makes sense if, i don't know if i'm making sense but anyway and she asked me a lot of things um where i want to be in the future so like uh job wise and she said if obviously if you don't know yet then it's not you know a big deal or anything but um to kind of have an insight in, as to what you want to do and also on my course i didn't massively realize at the time it's very cad based so like um computer aided design that basically means like photoshop illustrator um in design stuff like that and i had no clue in any of that like i was starting uni literally fresh like going into this world of like learning about fashion the online world like social media there was like lots of parts to it photography so i literally <laughs> oh i had no clue um and i think they probably thought like okay she's got like, you know a bit of confidence to kind of walk in and try this there was things i'm interested in so like catwalks um fashion shows stuff like that I, that i love um so i did say like things like that in the interview but again she was more interested in this board so it worked and it's again you know even if it's not a requirement maybe make like a small one or um like a, again an a4 one or something and it's just you know a thing to talk about in the interview as well so like if you bring things along then they can be like oh she's like made an effort or thought about this interview and um themselves and where they want to go you know stuff like that I knew even though i didn't have any experience really they knew my interest was like strong and they knew that i would try and make effort and do all the work projects essays everything they look at you in terms of like yeah if you've got experience obviously that's a plus and you can talk about it but if you don't have experience they look at you and they look at like what you envision what you dream about in terms of like where you want to go so there's there is a lot of other stuff that plays in it and in, in that isn't related to experience that you know they always say that you should have because i had none so <laughs> take it from me i had literally no experience in fashion and stuff so if you do um have a portfolio that is obviously a plus and i would say again you know maybe include the a4 a3 board in it but it should the portfolio that you create yourself should have you know your top work in it that reminds me i did do a little i think it was like a page full of writing about my favorite blogger at the time because i wanted to relate it to blogging um and back then i hadn't started this like blogging journey but i knew i was interested in it and 
yeah, they were wanting you to basically talk about the course or include the course in your work, in your like portfolio or board or whatever. Try and include whatever course you apply for, try and include it in your portfolio or essay or work or experience. So I put um, my favourite bloggers um, at the time and my favourite like fashion icons, my favourite um, pieces of clothing, um, stores, stuff like that. I just, I just wrote a load of my interests that would relate to the course. They will ask you why certain stuff is there basically and if you don't have like a reason it shouldn't be there. Uh, I just made mine really sparkly. I wish I could find it. Um, and I wish I could show you, I can't find my original one, but again, I can't show you work that I'm currently doing. But people will probably ask like, well, how did you like get in then? Like, I can't just be bored. Cause like, yeah. But I did my personal statement, which was back in year 13. Yeah. My A-levels were, I did geography, dance and English language. So like, I couldn't really say like any of them would relate to fashion. So I was pretty much in like a bit of a pickle in terms of like, how would they even like accept me on the course if, or would, how would any uni accept me on a fashion course if I've got like little to no like background in it. I needed to do this personal statement. And in January was like the deadline to apply to uni for like that following year. Um, and I, there was no apprenticeships in fashion that I could find. I had advice from the loveliest lady that worked um, at my school at the time. And she basically said, put your personality into your personal statement. And I was like, whoa. I basically started it off with, um, you're probably wondering why I am applying to a fashion course with no fashion experience. Um, well, let me tell you why. And it worked. <laughs> and they probably thought like, God, uh, she's a little bit different in her like, uh, <laughs> in her um, personal statement. So then that's probably why they wanted to interview me thinking like, who is she like? She's got no experience in it and she wants to apply. Idea for my portfolio or um, the board or anything um, that I wish I would have done would be to go out literally and do photo shoots. So, and now that I know like I'm interested in that and in styling and photo shoots and stuff, I wish I put more of that onto my board. My advice would be for your portfolio or whatever, um, go out and take photos, make it look very, um, you know, just interesting, colourful um, and you. Also, my advice would be if you do want to focus more on like a certain department, so like again, photography, or if you've got CAD experience or styling, do that and um, do it really well. Or if your interest is drawing, maybe do like a lot of drawing in your portfolio and show that that's your major skill. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share if you want. Um, and follow me on my fashion blog, which is called itsophie.com, um, and my Instagram, which is sophie.h, and I'll link them all below. Um, thanks for watching, and if you do want more videos like this, as I said, um, I'll make them, but <laughs> don't know if it'll be good, but hey, I, uh, I'll try, but anyway, thanks.